Hi everyone, this is Ellie Sparkles, and we're here with the mean Bergen chef. She's in her kitchen looking for something to eat. She's really hungry. It's lunchtime, and she doesn't have any trolls to eat. I can't find any trolls on my kitchen. Bridget and King Gristle keep ruining my plans whenever I try to eat those yummy trolls. I have an idea. I'll invite my robot friend over. Here is Chef's robot now. His name is Cook. Cook is such a cool robot, and he makes the most yummy food in Bergentown. Cook, I want the yummiest slice of troll pizza in Bergentown, and I want it right now. You bring Chef whatever she wants. Wow, the robot brought Chef a slice of pepperoni pizza. That was so fast. Press the thumbs up button if you want to see if Chef likes her food. Here you go, Chef. Blah, there's no trolls on it. I don't want pepperoni on my pizza. I want Guy Diamond on my pizza. Chef only wants trolls to eat. She's so picky. Maybe the robot can bring Chef something else to eat. Here's a hot dog, Chef. Maybe you'll like this better. Blah, gross! This tastes even ickier than your pizza. How can anyone eat a hot dog without a troll in it? Yuck! Chef won't eat a hot dog either. Chef is so cranky and really sad. Only a troll will make Chef feel better. Hey, wait! Look! He's back with the troll surprise blind bag. Wow! That will make Chef happy. Here's a picture of Poppy and all of her friends. Chef loves trolls blind bags. I can't wait to see which troll surprise we got. Let's open it. Here's a flyer that shows all the different trolls characters we can collect. There are so many cool trolls. But he's in the troll. And we got the Cloud from the Trolls movie. Cloud guy looks so funny. Here he is on the flyer. He's a white cloud that can talk with purple arms and legs. But he's in the troll. And he's always in the sky above the trolls village. That means he's a happy cloud. He's perfect for the trolls. Let's give it to Chef and see how she likes her new troll surprise. This isn't a troll. This is a cloud. I can't eat a cloud. Yuck. Hey, wait. I have another great idea. Since I can't since I can't catch the trolls, I'll trick the trolls. <laughs> Look, Chef is dressed up like Pinky the Troll again. She's wearing fake troll hair. Press the thumbs up button if you think Chef looks silly dressed up as Pinky. Here's Chef at the Trolls Village. She's looking for the first troll she can find. I wonder if anyone is home. There's nobody in that one. Is there anyone in Branch's pot? No, that looks empty too. What about Poppy's pot? Chef wishes she had a cool pot like Poppy's. Poppy's not home either. Chef looks like she can't find any of the trolls. Sorry, Chef. The trolls aren't home today. Oh, no. Here is Poppy. Watch out, Poppy. It's Chef and she's trying to trick you. Look. Chef got slimed and is running away. That was close. Chef's plan didn't work again. Ah, Poppy sprayed me with troll silly string. Look at all the silly string in Chef's troll hair. Poppy really got her good this time. I think Chef's fake troll hair is ruined. You better take it off, Chef. Chef is really sad now. But wait. Cook is here, and he came back with a new surprise toy for Chef. What a nice robot. It's a DC Comics superhero blind bag. Look at all the cool superheroes on the back. Let's open it and see who we got. Awesome! We got Superman. Superman wears the coolest red cape. Do you know what the S letter on his costume stands for? Let me know in the comments. One of Superman's superpower is flying. He can fly high in the sky above all the trees and buildings. 
And he'll see all of the villains on the ground too. Look how fast he is. When we're finished playing with him, he can hang out on his stand like this. Superheroes can get really tired too. They need a break. I have an idea. What if I use my robot to trick the trolls? Okay, Cook. Use your robot powers to turn into a troll. What is Cook doing now? Look! He has pink hair just like Poppy. Cook turned into a troll robot. Chef is so sneaky. She's going to use the troll robot to trick the trolls. Branch and Poppy are at the trolls village. And here comes Cook. His hair is long, soft, and pink, just like the trolls. Branch and Poppy aren't sure if he's a troll, so they're going to test him. Can you give Poppy a troll hug? Wow, that's a big hug. Poppy thinks that's one of the biggest troll hugs she's ever had. Now it's Branch's turn to give him a hug test too. Branch thinks he hugs like a troll too. They know that he can hug like a troll, but can he dance like a troll? Let's have a troll dance contest to find out. Wow, he's a great dancer. Since he's a great dancer and a great hugger, he must be a troll. Oh no, the robot stole Poppy and he's running away. Branch is so sad he let him get away with Poppy. The robot brought Poppy back to Chef. Chef's plan is finally working. And now he's going to eat Poppy. Chef didn't like her pepperoni pizza because there were no trolls on it. So now she's going to make a slice of Poppy pizza. Gross! Only a mean burger like Chef would eat a troll pizza. Poppy's in big trouble now. But wait, look who's here. It's King Gristle. And he's brought Chef a special gift. Are you ready, Chef? Have some more silly string for lunch. Ah, more silly string. Bye, Chef. Hooray! King Gristle made Chef go away and saved Poppy from being eaten. King Gristle is the best Burger King ever. And it looks like he has a new robot friend to play with also. I had so much fun saving Poppy from Chef and her robot today. If you had fun, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun. Are you ready for another adventure? Hi everyone, it's me Ellie Sparkles. We have a really cool surprise today. This isn't a regular mailbox, it's a magic mailbox. When someone puts a nice wish inside the magic mailbox, the mailman delivers their wish. But if someone makes a mean wish, their wish doesn't come true. This yellow key will open the magic mailbox. We have to put the key inside the hole and turn it. I can't wait to see what all our nice friends wish for today. This is my chance to get what I always wanted. I can wish for trolls. And then I'll eat them. Should I get poppy potatoes? Or branch broccoli? Or guy diamond tacos? I can't wait until it's my turn. Nice! Bridget is here! She's the first one to make a wish today. What are you going to wish for, Bridget? Remember, only nice wishes come true. I wish for a pretty pony and a yummy treat to share with King Gristle on our day tonight. Okay, Bridget. Put your wish in the magic mailbox. Wow, did you see that? It looks like your wish was granted. It's time to open the magic mailbox with this yellow key. Give me a big thumbs up if you think Bridget will get what she wished for. Awesome! Bridget's wish came true. She wished for a pony and she got a My Little Pony Stack'em surprise. It comes in the cute pink box and it shows our favorite ponies on the box. Let's open it and see who we got. Nice! It's Fluttershy. Fluttershy is a yellow pony with bright pink hair. She has the same hair color as Bridget. Fluttershy also has yellow wings. And her eyes are so big and sparkly. The best part about these stackums is how squishy they are. They're even squishier and stretchier than regular fashions. I could play with Fluttershy all day. This is such a fun toy to play with. 
Bridget can play with this on her date tonight. Okay, Bridget. You also wish for a sweet surprise to give to King Gristle tonight. And here it is. It's a big bag of M&M candy. This is King Gristle's favorite candy. She can share this with King Gristle on their date later in Bergentown. I think Bridget and King Gristle like M&Ms because they're so colorful. Just like their trolls friends. All of your wishes came true. Now go have fun on your day with King Gristle. Let's see who's coming over next to make a wish at the magic mailbox. Hey, it's Chef the Mean Bergen. Bridget took so long and I'm so hungry. I really need something yummy to eat. I wish for a big bowl of the yummiest, most colorful Trolls Cheerios. Hmm, Chef wished for a bowl of Trollios. That's not a very nice wish. Press the thumbs up button if you want to see if Chef's wish came true. Wow, it looks like her wish was delivered already. There must be something inside now. Let's open the mailbox with the magic yellow key and see if your wish came true, Chef. And look, Chef got a bowl of Cheerios. Oh no, Chef is finally going to be able to eat trolls. That's not nice. My wish came true. I have my own bowl of troll cereal. Let me have a bite. Yuck, these aren't troll Cheerios. These are regular Cheerios. They aren't colorful and they don't taste like trolls. Gross. Bridget got what she wished for, but I didn't. That's not fair. The next person to make a wish at the magic mailbox is the boss baby. Boss Baby is taking a break from his business meeting and came to make a wish. Boss Baby has a lot of wishes that he wants to make, but today he'll only make one special wish. He wishes for a troll's friend to play with today. That is a really nice wish. I hope it comes true. Uh-oh, it looks like Boss Baby has to go potty. It's an emergency. He'll be right back. Hurry back to get your wish. Oh no! What's Chef doing here? It's not her turn to make a wish. Boss Baby made a wish and it looks like Chef is up to no good. Chef didn't get the wish she wanted, so she's trying to make another wish. Hey, wait! Chef is sneaking inside the magic mailbox. She wants to steal Boss Baby's troll wish. What a sneaky villain! <laughs> Boss Baby's wish should be coming soon, and it will be all mine. But wait, how do I get out of here when I get this troll? Boss Baby came back. He made a wish for a troll friends to play with. I hope he gets his wish. Let's open the magic mailbox with the magic yellow key. Boss Baby can't wait to see what troll he got. It's Chef! And she's holding Boss Baby's troll surprise toy. She was hiding from Boss Baby and stole Boss Baby's troll friend. This is my troll now, Boss Baby. It's not nice to scare little babies. Chef finally got the wish she wanted, but she was cheating. Boss Baby is so sad that Chef is being so mean to him. Chef is finally going to get the troll she always wanted. Let's open the blind bag and see what troll we got. Hey, it's Creek. Creek is a sneaky troll. Just like Chef, but Creek looks a little different here than he does in the Trolls movie. This Creek is yellow with pink troll hair. Even though he looks different, Creek is still so much fun to play with. Chef wanted to eat Creek in the Trolls movie, and now she got another chance. Watch out, Creek! Chef wants to have you for lunch. Oh no! I hope Bridget will save you. I hope the next wish for the magic mailbox is a nice wish. Hey, it's King Gristle's turn to make his wish now. He's really excited to make a wish. He's never had a real wish come true before. King Gristle's thinking about his wishes. Hmm, he wishes for a toy and a yummy treat he can share with Bridget. I hope his wish comes true. Wow, that was fast. It sounds like you got a wish inside. I just hope Chef isn't hiding inside again. Let's open the mailbox with this special yellow key. Awesome! King Gristle's wish came true. He got a pint-sized Spider-Man blind bag. 
Spider-Man is the coolest superhero. This pint-sized hero toy can fit in your pocket. Let's see what's inside. Wow, look at this Spider-Man we found. This Spider-Man has really cool blue and red costume. His head is really big, but his body is so small. What a cool Spider-Man toy. I think there's another wish inside the mailbox. Let's check. Awesome! It's a bag of Chips Ahoy cookies. Yummy! This is Bridget's favorite cookies. There's enough cookies to share with Bridget later. That was so nice. They both wished for snacks for each other. Have fun with your day with Bridget tonight, King Gristle. Does anyone else want to make a wish? Hey, look! Boss Baby is back at the magic mailbox. Boss Baby wants to make another wish since the evil chef stole his first wish. Let's see what Boss Baby wants this time. His wish is for Creek to come back so that Chef doesn't eat him. That's such a nice wish. Boss Baby isn't a selfish baby at all. He could have wished for a toy, but he wished to save Creek. How nice. I think it worked. Let's open the door with the yellow key. I see something in here. It's Creek. Boss Baby's wish came true and saved Creek from the mean Bergen chef. Boss Baby is so happy. But look, it's Chef again. You better run away, Boss Baby. The Boss Baby ruined my dinner. He's so mean. But don't worry. Next time, I'll have an even better plan to cook a yummy troll. Bridget, King Gristle, and Boss Baby had a lot of fun making their wishes come true at the magic mailbox. They all got awesome toys and are having so much fun playing together. Chef's Evil plan didn't work and we were able to save Creek. If you had fun, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun. Are you ready for another adventure? Hi everyone, look who's here. It's King Gristle from the Trolls movie. King Gristle has a special date today. He's really excited and he can't wait to finally see her. I'm having dinner with the prettiest Bergen in all of Bergen Town. And here she comes now. Wow, it's Bridget. King Gristle and Bridget have been so busy working together to save the trolls. And now they're finally going to have dinner together. How exciting. I wonder what they're going to eat. Bridget is really happy to finally have a break from working in the kitchen for the mean boss. Press the thumbs up button if you know which Bergen villain is Bridget's mean boss. She's such a hard worker and she loves to have fun with her friends Poppy and Branch. Check out Bridget's pretty Bergen dress. It's pink, just like Poppy. King Gristle is so lucky to have such a pretty date. Bridget's short pink dress matches the color of her hair. Bridget isn't a troll, but her hair looks a little like troll hair. And her pigtails are the best. She has two cute pigtails. Now let's take a look at King Gristle. He has such a big smile on his face. I've never seen him so happy. Bridget really likes his royal king clothes. The best part of his outfit is the golden crown on top of his funny green hair. Just like the color of grass outside. King Gristle's gold crown sparkles on a sunny day. He looks like such a nice king. King Gristle has a big belly. He's so soft and squishy. I think he's super cuddly like a bear. He even has a red cape on the back of his shirt. He's like a superhero who saves trolls. The shirt he's wearing today has red and white stripes. Bridget thinks he looks so handsome with his shirt. King Gristle and Bridget make a great team because they always like to save the trolls from being eaten. King Gristle is planning on having a great night with Bridget. I wonder what they will have for dinner from their waiter. Hey, wait! Look who's here! It's the villain chef! What is she doing here? Hello, King Gristle and Bridget! I made you my famous chef burger for dinner! It's the most yummy burger in Bergentown! Chef looks really mean today! Why are you so angry, chef? Her light blue hair is really short and looks crazy! She's wearing a tall white chef hat on top of her head too! Her shirt is white, just like her hat! She has a brown pocket on her belly that she uses to put trolls in. I hope there are no trolls in there now. 
Chef is always looking to eat trolls. Bergen's arms are really long too. She can reach into high trees to find trolls when they are hiding. King Gristle and Bridget's dinner looks really yummy. There is bread, lettuce, cheese. But wait, why is there pink hair hanging out of it? Oh no! Chef made us a poppy burger. Gross! Let's get her out of here. King Gristle and Bridget are friends with trolls. They don't eat them. Only Chef thinks trolls are yummy. Poppy is so happy to finally be out of there. She's wearing her favorite blue dress, and her pink hair is so soft and shiny. Poppy is always such a happy troll, but not when she's inside a hamburger. Poppy can play with Bridget and King Gristle now. Bridget and King Gristle saved the day again. Sorry, Chef. We don't want your icky Poppy burger. You can take it back and make something else with no trolls in it. Bergens are supposed to eat trolls, not be friends with them. King Gristle and Bridget are so weird. Poppy is so happy that Bridget and King Gristle saved them. Wow! Look, Poppy gave them surprise toys to thank them. That's so nice, Poppy. Our first surprise toy from Poppy is an LOL surprise. These toys are so cool. They have seven surprises inside. This is the first layer of the LOL surprise and the first clue to our doll. The layer shows a blue ribbon and two dolls. Maybe these dolls are number one best friends. The next layer gives us more clues about our doll. Our doll will either change color, tinkle, cry, or spit. I wonder what our doll will do. I love finding new clues. Let's peel off the next layer. Look, it's a red and white drinking cup. We'll fill this up with water later to see if our doll is a tinkler, crier, or spitter. It's time to unwrap the next layer. Wow, this surprises our doll's shoes. How cute! These shoes are yellow with black around the ankles. This is going to be such a cool doll. I can't wait to put them on her little feet. Let's see what the next layer shows us. Awesome! It's the doll's clothes. It's a black and white jacket with a red shirt and shorts. This will look really nice with our yellow shoes. Can you see the letters and numbers? It says Baby Zero One. Looks like we're almost done with all of the layers. We have another surprise to open, and it's a red hat. This hat also says Baby, and it will match her jacket perfectly. I hope she doesn't mind her hair getting messy under her new hat. I can't wait to see what's next. It's time to see our LOL surprise doll. Here she is. Her name is MC Swag. Her hair is blonde, and her lips are red, just like her baseball cap. Can you see the braids in her hair? That's so cool. And look, she has little pigtails, just like Bridget. She's such a cute LOL baby doll. Let's put all of our clothes and accessories on, and see how she looks. First. Let's put on her colorful jacket and shorts. She looks really cold without it. This jacket is really easy to put on. It opens up so we can put her arms right in. Awesome! It fits perfectly. Next, we'll put on her yellow and black boots. She's ready for an adventure now. These shoes were so easy to put on. We didn't even have to tie them. MC Swag is all dressed, but wait, we almost forgot her red baby hat. Let's put it right on top of her hair. MC Swag looks so cool now. Her outfit is complete. Now let's check to see if our doll will change colors, and if she'll cry, spit, or tinkles. First, we'll use a cup of clean and clear water. Now let's see if she changes color. If we let her sit in the ice water for a few seconds, we'll be able to tell if she changes color. And hmm, nothing is happening. I guess this baby doesn't change colors, so let's use her water bottle to see if she's a tinkler or a crier. Are you ready for your water bottle, MC Swag? Here you go. Drink some yummy water. If we squeeze it gently, she'll drink it all. Okay, I think she's almost finished drinking all of her water. Good job. Let's squeeze her and see what happens. Wow, do you see the tears in her eyes? MC Swag is a crier. Her eyes look so big, round, and sad. Maybe she just wants to go outside and play with her friends. 
Look how much water is coming out of her eyes. Cheer up, MC Swag. You're the coolest baby in town. It was so much fun trying to figure out how, what kind of baby she is. When we close the LOL ball, there's a little handle we can put on and it turns into a pocketbook. And MC Swag fits right on top of the bag. What a cool toy. I love getting seven layers of surprises. We have one more surprise toy to open. It's a troll's blind bag. I can't wait to see which troll character is inside. Let's open it. And it's... Violet the Sleepy Troll. Violet has light blue hair and she's wearing a light blue dress. Look, her dress has a moon on it too. How pretty. Violet has the softest troll hair and it's super long. It's so much fun playing with troll hair. I can play with her hair all day. But right now, it's time for Violet to go to bed. She looks so tired. Poppy will have so much fun playing with you tomorrow when you wake up. Maybe you can sing and dance all day with Poppy. Bridget and King Gristle are almost finished with your date. Bridget is super happy that King Gristle helped her save Poppy from being eaten today. Give me a thumbs up if you think Bridget and King Gristle make a really good team. Wow, look! Bridget gave King Gristle a big kiss on his cheek. He's such a lucky Bergen. I had so much fun watching Bridget go on a date with King Gristle. If you had fun, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun. Are you ready for more trolls fun?